So it's another busy week in the office. Everyone is in town for trivia. There's two people that clearly do not like each other and they're gonna have to meet face to face. This is something that has been brewing for a long time. We've been in a blog war. Tate quit his job. He's moved here. We'll see what happens. I'm excited. You met Keats yet in person? No, I haven't. Are you planning on approaching her? Are you gonna let let it happen naturally? I'm not sure what the uh, what the move's gonna be. I think uh, we'll see who makes the first move. I got no issue, but I, I from what I've heard, she's got some serious issues, and we've seen that too. So. We'll see how it goes. First of all, I'm posted up on the top thing uh, at a table. I'm sitting next to Megan, hanging out, very much available to speak, very much available for any sort of conversation. I came here ready. Early in the morning really isn't my ideal time to be arguing, but I was ready to do it if necessary, and I've got nothing. He's standing over there right now. I just like, it's kind of it's kind of weird. I don't know if I'm supposed to now, like, I'm not gonna go up and like start a fight. I fucking hate him. I hate his guts, I wish he was dead. Like if I could watch out with him, just punch him in the face, I would. But here it is. Everybody said he'd be milk toast wallpaper when I got here, and that's exactly what he's gonna be, so, or is being. And it's just shocking at this point. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. What do you think? She doing her prediction? Let's go to Chicago. I might cheer extra loud for them. I'm trying to kill her with kindness, so I might overly cheer her. And welcome back to the Dozen Trivia Tournament 4. You have a new member, Kelly. You have played 50 matches in this league, Dave and Chief. You've never won a tournament game. It's the most in the history of the league. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm setting the stage, you know? Here we go. Let's play some trivia. Russell Wilson. Carson, Carson Palmer, Fire. final answer. Two nothing, oh, smocking. Oh Bill Nevin, final answer. Talking about tournaments and mids, that's correct. Becoming the Ricardos. Final. No. Other side. Think it up. Joe Harris, final answer. That is correct, eight to six. Oh, my God, team, man. Tony Shalhoub, final answer. Smocking, moving on to the next round. Let's go, what a Big win, great match. What a W. Holy shit, Mincy. That's why we signed him and then traded back for him after we tried to trade him and Jeff wouldn't allow us to trade him. That's exactly why we did that. That sucked, I was rooting for you guys. I'm devastated. I couldn't be more devastated. Like, sick to my stomach. She's good. Hurts my heart to see her go down. She's good. She is good. You hate her. Is that like a Kelly Green or? Uh, yeah, that looks like a Kelly Green to me. You like Kelly? She's a very good trivia player. I know, I was talking about the color. Oh, okay. It sounds like you're thinking about Kelly a lot. <laughs> Might be just a uh, jealous screen. Green with envy. Green. Yeah, do you wish you were Kelly? In trivia, yeah, she's very good. You guys talk? Zero talk, one hallway pass, and she gave me one of these. <laughs> Respected. Yeah! Zero words spoken today. So I think we both just avoided fireworks on day one. She's a great trivia player though. Great trivia player. Wish I could, disappointed to see they lost because wish I could have seen more of that. Uh, Jack, he just always plays games. So I'm laughing from up top when I'm doing my post game show. Great suit, Jerry, looks like shit. Fuck that guy, he's a piece of shit. I just want to torture him. I should just kidnap him, bring him to my house and just fucking tie him up and just fucking do like a Chinese water torture on him with the, the drop of water just going on the forehead. We're smacking. I'm here smacking. You're smacking? What, man? I just, I'm just pointing something out. What's wrong with my suit? What's wrong? It's a custom jacket. What's wrong with it? No, it's not. It's the not guy weird. did it for me. No, Look at the sleeves, how perfect they are. It's a custom fit. Look at the sleeves, how perfect it is. White t-shirt under it? Like, come on, you dress like, up my big My collared it's shirts were Asian. fucking wrinkled. I don't have an iron. What are you talking about? These are from London. What are you talking about? You yes. can. London You've never is. seen these. No, it's like Canal Street in New York where they just sell right, fake ass shit. What? How's your weekend? Skiing? No skiing for no me. Skiing? Sober as hell. Yeah. He drips. Oh, look at PFT's car. Holy shit. Come on! No! Right, 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 right. I don't Ooh. think it's starting. Um, oh, we got it. Fuck. All right. All right, stop, guys, stop. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Fuck! This is not what I need before trivia. <laughs> He's, uh, I'm getting tweets over here at Parcel Tate says, oh, uh, she owes me an apology about me. He's hidden from me for two days. Wherever you are. Two days. You're hiding from me. Fucking fuck. 
come come talk to me then, asshole. Yeah, should I go like should I go? Yeah, go no, 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 no. No, because this is what he wants. He wants yeah, me to come in hot and yell at him and look bad. That's exactly what he's mm-hmm. doing. And if he wants to talk to me, he can talk to me. I'm here. I've been here this entire time. I'm in his face. What are you gonna do? He's just meek little mouse running around <laughs> hiding from me. It's like grow up. I'm staying out on this one. I want no. I'm, I got no fight. What? The dog in the fight. I got no fight in the dog. <laughs> I am just here with my popcorn, watching the show. I said my truth. I mean, if, if you don't do it right now, it's gonna be a hash out. Yeah. I, I, I think we should do the rundown. Yeah. Yeah. You know what is the best at Barstool when there's drama and you have nothing to do with it? That is my favorite drama. Why is the yeah. drama? What, why would you say there's drama? A drama, but whatever's happening, and I, it's just like it's nice to have nothing to do with it. I just see what resolves. I, point, I said she was lazy. She went on a seven day bender tweeting at me 70,000 times. She's crazy. I'm normal. Truth hurts. Tell her to come down. I don't want to. Does Dan care? Big Cat, T and Kelly won't talk to each other. We're gonna All right, we're going to have them talk. Steven! Dealing with a crazy person. Kelly. Welcome. Sit in real quick. Yeah, welcome. Have a seat. Kelly, welcome. Yeah, sorry for your loss yesterday. Mm-hmm. Oh, thanks. I'm really devastated. Put, throw on your headphones. I got some questions for you. Ready? Do you have got you have questions for me? I yeah. see what's happening in the booth. What's happening? Oh, oh, oh. I didn't know this was yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. It has to be through a glass wall, Tate. This entire time. No, no. Oh, can come can I come in? Yeah, Here, I'll give my seat. Okay. Do so you guys uh, have I'll leave. spoken? I'll leave. No, because he's been hiding. I'll leave. I'm not leaving. <laughs> no, Dan, you I'll stay. Moderate. I would I'll like if you stay. I'll moderate. I'll moderate. <laughs> okay, so is there still a lot of beef? Um, yeah, I think there's there's fully beef. I hate your fucking guts. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I like yeah, that. I like yeah. that. I like that. <laughs> there is no reconciliation here. You are an asshole. You're running around, you know, talking so big, saying that I owe you an apology. It's bullshit. You do. What are you, for what, if dude? You apo- for what? If you apologize, I will squash. Tell me why I owe you an apology. Okay, I will. Kelly Keegs yeah. is the Angel Reese of Barstool Sports oh. because she thinks she's more important than she is. She oh, that was mean. That Listen, was mean. That was she mean. embraces the villain role, but so then when I'm, it gets turned Angel on her, Reese, she's the Caitlin first Clark? to cry victim. I caught you red-handed saying, oh, I blog on Fridays. You didn't blog on eight straight Fridays. Okay, not the biggest deal in the world. You then tried to ruin my life. Called me Tate Moore, posted a million pictures of me. It's very fair. All is fair on the blog. But what I'm saying is this. That, in turn, got hundreds of people to call me what you were saying. A misogynist. You hate women. You coach girls basketball. Emailing my school. I'm not built for this. This is, this is Milton tough shit, and that's not me. Are they screaming at each other? Yeah, probably. Who cares? Don't so we full of have, shit, you, making me sick. It. Spit it out, get it out of your mouth. Say it so I can reply in kind. Yeah, okay. I swear to God, Tate, you're a fin- fucking asshole. Fin- say I'll it. Finish, Tate. Another. Finish it. Finish. Popcorn too. Make sure you get this for Soli. Every cr- oh, drop the bag. <laughs> Man, you're glad you caught that. I'm sure, you're not missing anything. Ooh, should I get caramel and cheddar and butter? Butter. <laughs> oh, a little spill. Glad you caught that too. I bet. Did you get that? You get some of the popcorn coming out? I get this for Viva. Nothing else going on. Do you think that you're better than me? And I don't know why you think that. And I don't know who the kind of who you think I am, but I'm not that person. And you're a fucking asshole. It's disgusting. And I see through it. I've always seen through it. I don't care who's nice to you. I know exactly who the fuck you are. You're not gonna wanna miss this with Viva TV. Wait, are you showing them the thing? Yeah, the, the old school fucking milk and shit. This is for all you motherfuckers that say I miss the old bar stool. What's the first thing you see on that hat, Fasoli? This shit over. I'm sure they're hashing it out by now. Might end up being friends. I would for fucking kill you, you right now if I for could. For you to Ooh. say, like, Tate, you've avoided me for two days. Kelly, you're the one I don't have any problem with you. How's it going? Oh, awesome. Very, very, very cordial. Nothing too crazy. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I'm happy. I think we're making real progress. Come on, Fasoli, I'm gonna go piss. <laughs> I'm not saying you I'm better than you. You took a you joke written I said. Six blogs this month. Okay, you right, effort right. needs, Gives a you fuck how many blogs months. I wrote. If, if Dave Portnoy out. calls me up and says I'm not out. doing enough blogs, then that's, that's what matters to me. Effort, I don't give a fuck what you my say. My effort reflects what I think. Time out. I'm making sure Fasoli doesn't get to see this, <laughs> this content. So, anything important for Viva TV? Uh. Oh, sh- Oh! Fasoli, what are you doing? My job. <laughs> I don't know if you guys will ever see eye to eye. I think you both have had, I think you both have done things to each other that you could both be like, if you, if you have like a moment of reflection being like, you know what, my bad a little bit, but I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know if you'll ever see eye to eye. Thank you.
take that shirt off. Get it back oh, to stop, 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 stop. He's going to leave. He's going to leave. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. I won. That's the most obvious thing. She lost her tongue. I got body. A little bit. I got body. I didn't even raise my voice. Body. Yeah. She's scared. Take it. Take it. She's scared. 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 She's a nightmare. It's important to play both sides. Tate did great too. Kelly, you go take a, take a walk. Kelly, I'm ready for Kelly. I walked in the hospital, but I need a walk and I need a drink. Yeah, yeah. Go, go, take a, go take a lap. Go take a lap. I, I blacked out with rage and I almost killed him. I looked at Gia, we were streaming it. I went, I looked at Gia and go, oh my god, I think she might actually hit him. And then 30 seconds later, she goes, I'm gonna hit you! <laughs> Listen, I fucking hate him. I hate him so much. Yeah, sorry. I, I didn't know it was gonna. I was bombarded. I got asked to come on the act for a couple questions and then he inserted himself in the booth and was like, can I come in here? I was just screeching. Like, oh, <laughs> just, I fucking can't go! <laughs> <laughs> I would say I'm officially 2-0 against her. That is a master class in how to get under someone's skin. Usually the person that yells and screams the most in the fight knows they're wrong. That's why they have to raise their voice. I was calm, cool, and collected the whole time and uh, Kelly Keegs was Kelly Keegs. I got some information today. Frank was feeling a little bit down. I wanted to rile him up a little bit like I do every year before the dozen. And I said, I think Jeff D. Lowe gave up telling balls the answers. Now I just gotta be like, I think he, I think he, I think it was rigged. You're out of here! All five days! My two hours jumping me! I called Frank. Hey, hey, hey. He fucked us! I'm never gonna win anything! You think you can do it? What are you talking? Not only time calling a loser, but a jinx! That's what the whole plan was. He told me. Yeah. You know you fucked us. You did the same thing you did the experts you did to us because you can't handle us winning. So you get fucked. Maybe. Well, this is a fixed tournament. It's fixed. They put on there. Who's going to be upset? They put our picture on there. And then Jerry says that they sent him the answers. And he's probably true. Because Jerry knows. He's always in the inside. We're going to be just fine. We're a good team. It's I'm okay. never going to win. I'm never going to win this. I'm a loser. That's what I am. I'm a loser. You saw it today. Bad. That's my bad. That's my bad. That's my bad. You said it. You said it. You said it. You gave him the questions. I believe. And then look at Mr. Smirk over there. No I'm giving you, Mr. Smirk over there. There's no smirk, Frank. You fucking idiot. I ain't buying it. I'm ice cold. I, 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 I ain't buying it. I ain't buying it. Caution blood, dude. Relax. How'd you cut your lip? I don't know. All right, if you're watching this, you've obviously seen it's been a tumultuous week at Barstool Chicago HQ. A lot of toxicity, so I had to do one thing. I've hired an emotional support animal to come in and relieve the office of all the stress. How can you not be excited for the queen? I'm gonna protest at Icebreaker's gum headquarters. I'm gonna burn chocolate at the stake. I'm gonna do everything I need to do to make sure that woman is safe. Come on, PG. She's beautiful. Oh, oh she is. Oh, 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 she's tiny. She's like a pipsqueak. Disgusting, man. There's a couple dog haters in here. Eddie, Brandon, maybe Tate. I don't know. That's not a stick. I am a human, yes. I'm not a stick, I'm not a bone or a person. I think Dave's telling me to go to Canada. I got here last night at seven o'clock at night. Now I, I think he wants me to go to Canada. I don't want to go to Canada. If, if, if it's my duty to go to Canada, I'll go to Canada. I would think somebody like you who doesn't have much to offer this company 
when your team is going to Edmonton, which by all accounts is a crazy place, it'd be like jumping at to make contest. Yeah, but every game I go to, they lose. So you just can't cover your teams? I could cover my teams. I will, I will cover my teams from the couch, at least while they're in Edmonton. When you have nothing to offer and your team is it, we don't have another Florida guy. So do you want me to just, I'll book the flight to Edmonton right now. How long is the flight? I think it's a pair. I think you're going to get it going now. I'll get you a nose, please. You get me like lower level? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you a nose, please. That's where you belong. You're a nose, please. <laughs> They're gonna lose, Dave. Like this is not fair. That is good concept. My what? thing is, if I'm the sole reason why my home team loses and blows a 3-0 lead. Okay. Let me look at the flip side. I have a guy that really does nothing. Like, what? It literally was like big catch. You want to rehire him? He's like, sure, whatever. His team is in the Stanley Cup Finals in Edmonton. He doesn't want to get his ass off the couch. You know how many people would be like, I'll take that job and go. Why to watch my favorite team play in the Stanley Cup Finals? Like, no, I don't want to go. I would go. The Chicklets guys are there. They live there. Don't they live in Canada? Rear Admiral does not <laughs> live in <laughs> fucking Edmonton. Wait, wait, wait for them. In Edmonton. He's probably going to Boston. Yeah, that's like a what? Two hour drive? What are you talking about? Oh, All right, let me go get going. Go get going. Honestly, get, it's like they, you should. That was a good pep talk. Dan should have given you that pep talk. Crazy. That's crazy. What else do you have going on? Nothing. I have stuff going on. What? A life. I got. <laughs> you have quite literally nothing going on. You have nothing Here. going on. You have nothing going on. We got a dozen tonight. You're not in a dozen. I know. I wanted to root for you. Yeah. You got nothing going on. What a spoiled brat. <laughs> He's being getting a, a paid trip to Edmonton to watch his team in the Stanley Cup Finals. He's acting like it's a death sentence. And you have no other response. You don't do anything. I do stuff. Like what? You I vlog. Eyes, I make videos. Go make a video in Edmonton. All right. He has nothing to do. Nothing to do. I walked in there. I saw you doing nothing. And it's like, this guy does nothing. And his team is in the Stanley Cup Finals. He should be at Edmonton making content. So far. Wow. You have the chance to watch right. your team win the Stanley Cup. You know what, bro? I do understand. They're gonna lose if I go. No, if no. I've seen them win once, it'd be a no-brainer. He knows that every game I've seen them play this year, they've lost. I had no idea that was a thing. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I've tweeted about it like four times. Like I'm. I'm you think I follow you on Twitter? You do. <laughs> it says follows you. Yeah, but I don't pay attention. Well, that's probably better off. You're not a victim here. I am a victim. By going and getting a paid round trip Jesus. and a ticket to go watch your favorite team try to win the Stanley That's crazy. Now we even watch hockey and I kind of want to go. Have fun. Hey, enjoy cool. that show. So Canada's cool. different, bro. You're going to see some real hockey fans. Have a good time. This is so it's fucked like, up on bro, so many levels. Going to Canada. I don't want to go for the record. If they lose, do not blame me. What? Have fun. What the fuck? Alright, thanks. God, he's such a miserable, miserable person. It's probably like 13, 14 hours to get there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, horrible. All right, so I booked him a 9.22 p.m. flight tonight. He's going to land in Seattle at midnight, and he'll be in Seattle until 8 a.m., and then he lands in Edmonton at 11 a.m. Yeah, we got to teach some work ethic around here. All right, folks, case race six. This is a Royal Rumble case race that we've had in the works for a good, like, four months, and it is finally coming to fruition tonight. Whoever wins, uh, really just bragging rights, the team that has the most beers consumed collectively, and then the losing team, they have to put somebody into a human-sized balloon like we did with KB a couple weeks ago. Case race six, let's go. I legit feel like I'm like about to go play a basketball game. I have like pre-game jitters. It's not a competition. It's not. It's literally a competition. And your boy's got 10. It's never been done before. That's 11. This is number 12, again. So just, just, that's where we're at. Yeah. 
I don't think I puked. No, I puked. No puke. There's no puke. You're not about to fucking do it right now. You're not about to do it right now. You're not about to do it right now. Get in the fuck out of here. I don't get paid enough for this. I do not get paid enough for any of this. Like a bull in a china shop. Like a china in a china shop. Ah. Fuck out of here, no. Is that ah. your shirt? Where is my shirt? Ew. Oh no, I'm gonna throw up when I pee. Spider in a balloon. Simple as that. It would be easier if you were fucking naked. Completely naked? I think so. I'll, I'll drop down the briefs. How's that? Yeah, that'll work. I'll get naked. <laughs> yeah, put Dana in there. Actually, it would be way easier put if Dana, Dana, yeah, if Dana was naked. <laughs> All right, Dana, let's go. Ready? One, two, three. My hair! Ow! 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 My hair's caught in something! Stop! 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 My hair's caught in the fucking thing! Ow! Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Oh fuck! Ow! It hurts so bad! Stop! Stop twisting it! Stop twisting it! Stop! Stop! Let go, Dan! Let go! I know! I know! I know! I know! I'm holding it up! It hurts! That hurts so fucking bad! Stack right over there! Oh fuck! How do we get my hair out of this? Go! 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 No, 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 no,
one and a half beers. <laughs> I don't know how it happened, but we won, and I'm I'm happy about that. But like, why me? I that, that, I'm gonna I'm gonna pray to God and ask today questions. Broke, don't fix it. I've had fun tonight. This has been a a fun time. We don't have to. We just we just hold. Need to pee?